Hi guys, thanks for choosing this video. Today I will give you an update on what is known about hair loss related to COVID-19. I will start with summarizing who is at risk, then I will tell you a little bit about the symptoms. I will go on to say whether or not we can prevent hair loss after COVID-19 and finally how do we treat it. Let's go! The hair loss associated with COVID-19 is a type of telogen effluvium and it may be very severe and it may cause even up to total hair loss. Who is at risk of developing COVID-19 related hair loss? Well, everyone who has or had recently COVID-19 and approximately one-fourth and some experts even say a half of the patients who had COVID-19 will subsequently develop hair loss and this is most common in persons who had a very long lasting time of symptoms related to COVID-19 and if it was 10 days or more of COVID-19 symptoms, these persons are at highest risk of developing the hair loss. There is also a hypothesis which indicates that there are some receptors which are responsible for the perception of smell and they may be also located in the hair follicles and may be responsible for hair loss. So this hypothesis says that persons who had loss of smell while having COVID-19, that they may be of higher risk of developing hair loss. The symptoms, the hair loss, it usually starts approximately two months after the first symptoms of COVID-19 and in most cases it will last approximately two months. However, shorter and longer is also possible and after this time usually there is a spontaneous hair regrowth. However, there are some cases and this is approximately 9% of the patients, almost one tenth, in whom there was no hair regrowth even half a year after the hair loss started. The hair loss is sometimes associated with pain of the scalp. And this is the case in approximately 20% of patients who have hair loss, but it may also be an isolated symptom independent of hair loss. And it also usually resolves spontaneously after some time, but we can help with some anti-inflammatory treatment. How do we perform a diagnosis? Well, most important is the anamnesis. And if we know that the patient had COVID-19 two months ago, then of course the diagnosis is easier. Trichoscopy may be helpful to exclude other causes of hair loss and we may consider performing a trichogram. It should not be performed later than three months after the first symptoms of COVID-19 because then the result may be false negative. The typical trichoscopy findings are the same as we see them in any other type of telogen effluvium with multiple follicular units with only one hair and maybe some sparse yellow dots and then as you see in this lower image after regrowth, the hair returns to normal. We may also be lucky to catch a moment like this and we will see the regrowth phase with multiple small regrowing hairs in trichoscopy. The question which we are asking ourselves is, can we prevent hair loss associated with COVID-19? Well, there are no data on this yet, but definitely COVID vaccination may cause a shorter duration of COVID-19, so it may part at least prevent from hair loss. And also we may consider that early treatment of COVID-19 symptoms may have an effect on a hair growth, but these data are not yet scientifically confirmed. One of the main treatments is the use of potent topical glucocorticosteroids such as clobetazole, and it should be used from few weeks up to few months. We may consider treatment to improve the follicle microcirculation such as may and a third option is we can also use anti-inflammatory drugs, especially in patients with trichodynia. In every case, the treatment should be individually adjusted to every patient. Here is a short version of my video. COVID-19 related hair loss usually starts two months after the first symptoms of COVID-19. In most cases, it lasts approximately two months, but it may be shorter or longer in some cases. It is most probably caused by the virus itself, not related to the fever which is present in some patients with COVID-19 or the drugs which are 
are being used. It can be diagnosed or the diagnosis can be facilitated by a trichoscopy or the trichogram and treatment with inflammatory drugs and improving the microcirculation may improve the hair regrowth. If you found this video useful, please consider clicking the like button. Thank you very much.